Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Autotune Artist by Antares. Let's get into it. Okay, so Autotune Artist is kind of like the base full version of Autotune, the real Antares original Autotune. Uh, you also have Autotune Pro on top of it. They're $350 and $450 respectively. Autotune Pro doesn't really offer too much more than what Melodyne offers. And uh, I already have Melodyne, so I just got Autotune Artist. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use that today. It's got all the features that you'll need for making that Autotune sound. So let's get into it. I'm in Logic right now, but you can obviously do this in any DAW. It's gonna be the same. FL Studio, Ableton, etc. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this beat that I've been working on, this song and these vocals without auto-tune, and then we'll turn on auto-tune and see what the difference is once I really get this thing dialed in. Uh, sounds pretty lazy, pretty pitchy. Let's go ahead and turn on that auto-tune. And suddenly I'm a good singer. So it's powerful. Let's get into it. I'm going to open up a new instance of it on the same vocal channel. We're going to be starting from scratch and I'm going to show you all these features and how you can use this to its full potential. So we're going to work from the top down. You've got this advanced tab that we'll get into in a little bit. But first I'm going to go ahead and change my input type kind of a mid-range on this song, and then it's C minor. You've got a lot of options for different scales. Major and minor are generally what I'm using. Um, and then over here, you've got a couple options. You've got format. Digitally kind of lowering or raising the pitch, but not the pitch, more like the tonality of the voice. That's what format is, uh, kind of filter. A little Alter Boy or even Waves pitch shifter work better, but uh, it's a little included gift for you there. Then you have a classic mode. I'll turn this tuning all the way up on the speed. can't hear the difference too much, but this is the Autotune 5 algorithm, which is kind of when T-Pain uh, and that style of Autotune was really popular. Distorted robot sound to it. It's nice to have that option. Uh, the other regular algorithm to pitch correct is a little bit more natural sounding. So this gives you some of that classic distorted sound. Uh, you also have Transpose. Exactly what you think pitches up or down the vocals up to a full octave. Detune is if you want to work out of the 440 hertz, which almost all music is 440. And then tracking, uh, the higher you turn it up, the more selective it is for the pitch correction, and the lower you turn it down, the less selective it is. You can adjust that so it doesn't pick up pitches of other things. Maybe if you've got like a live band playing with you, uh, that can be a good setting. I almost always leave it at 50. So now you've got retune speed. Retune speed is the most important part of any auto-tuning product. It's what's going to give you either a natural tuned vocal sound or a super unnatural robotic sound. Set to zero, you get a lot of digital artifacts. But if you turn that down, you'll get a little bit more natural pitch. Say we'll turn it on to seven. Uh, yeah. I'm still hearing a lot of those artifacts. Let's bring it down to 13. I hear a tiny bit of the artifacts, but for the most part, uh, it gets rid of all of those. So you can turn it all the way down to 400, which is basically not even functioning as auto-tune. Flex tune, this rounds out those hard edges. It's pretty similar to retune speed, but flex tune is a little bit more for just those jumps between pitches. So you can turn it up to make it sound more natural. Uh, yeah. you think I'm 
I tend to work on getting that effect through my retune speed, but it is a good option to work with both of them to get a more natural sounding vocal. Here you've got humanize. Humanize, it essentially takes your long notes when you have a sustained long vocal and it makes it not quite so hard tuned. It makes it sound a little bit more natural, which is okay if you want an organic sounding vocal on a good vocalist and you want their vibrato or their natural inflections to shine through. But for the most part, I'm not usually working with vocalists that are that talented anyway, so I don't usually use it. Natural vibrato is accentuating or reducing the natural vibrato. Again, this is for if you're working with a trained vocalist that's putting down really good vibrato. Maybe they're a little too all over the place, so you can use that to turn that vibrato down. Or maybe they got a really subtle vibrato that you want to let shine through, and you can turn that setting up. Um, I don't really have any good vibrato, so I don't have a good way to demonstrate that on this track, but hopefully that gives you an idea. All right, now let's get into the advanced. This is where this plugin really shines through for me. I'll go back to that original instance of autotune when I first showed you this track. You think I'm some, but I'm not. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a little subtle vibrato on the end of it. We can recreate this with our new instance that we have up here. Down here, the shape select sine wave you can also select square or sawtooth those aren't going to be super natural sounding but click sine wave you can adjust the rate how long it takes for the vibrato to start and how long it takes from that point for the vibrato to be in full effect essentially this is the notes when it's a long note you'll get vibrato obviously you don't want vibrato on short notes you want it kind of at the tail end of longer sustained notes so this is going to say on the onset delay how long does a note have to be before we start vibrato and then how long from that point with the onset rate does it take to get vibrato into full effect so obviously you don't want a hard jump into vibrato you want a natural ramp up and that's going to be your onset rate then you have your onset delay to see how long that note should be before the vibrato kicks in variation is kind of like a humanization effect how much you want all of these parameters to be random uh, it could be good if you want a natural sounding vibrato pitch is how much you want this vibrato to be pitch how much you want it to be the actual volume of a singer's vocal and how much you want to affect the format format was the same filter or his throat up here um, so it's essentially just varying pitch without varying the pitch so I know I just put a lot of information out there but you can go ahead and mess with these individually and get the tone you're looking for you think I'm I'm I hear it a little bit there I'll go ahead and accentuate it you think I'm so I just turned the pitch all the way up kind of ridiculous but hey there's some other settings down here. These are primarily for setting your scale. I have just use minor and major, and that's generally what I find most people are using as well. Um, so I don't usually use any of these settings. They're there if you need them. You can edit some of the specific tones of the, your individual notes of the scale. But I'm not going to get into that. That's a little bit too much in the weeds. This is just enough to get you started. Auto-Tune Artist. And the same applies to Auto-Tune Pro because all of this is the same on Auto-Tune Pro. You just add on a graph editor like Melodyne. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.